sweet chocobo riding. Wizards of the Coast has announced last month that they're doing another crossover promotion limited edition magic run with Final Fantasy. I don't know which specific Final Fantasy or just generic Final Fantasy run. And Assassin's Creed. So sometime next year in 2023, we'll have, we will have limited editions. One from the Vault Magic the Gathering sets that will make uh, Cloud Strife and Assassin's Creed lead legal in certain Magic formats. Plus collectible, plus some new art, plus some old art. There might even be some set-specific things that you've never seen in the actual video games. But yes, right, hot off the heels of the announcement from last month that uh, Transformers is going to have a second Magic the Gathering run. Wizards of the Coast also announced last month that they're going to be doing a Final Fantasy and Assassin's Creed limited edition Magic run sometime next year. Does this now mean that Final Fantasy is canon with Dungeons and Dragons? No. Does this now mean that Hasbro is buying the creators of Final Fantasy? No. Does this now mean Sephiroth can be the final boss in your D&D campaign? Sure, sure, of course he can. Why, when could he not have been? I mean, yeah. Does this mean Cloud Strife is now canon in D&D and you'll see him standing next to next to Drizzt? No, 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 you won't. Uh, does this mean Assassin's Creed is now canon with Dungeons & Dragons? N no, 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 it doesn't. Does this mean the creators of Assassin's Creed now own Dungeons & Dragons? No. No, it doesn't. Does this mean Hasbro now owns the Assassin's Creed line? No, 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 it doesn't. Does this now mean you can see Bruno, Battlehammer, Elminster, and the characters from Assassin's Creed all standing together in defiance against Tiamat? No, 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 no. Does this mean you could have Assassin's Creed themed encounters in your D&D game? Sure, of course you can. What in fact does this mean, and what does it have to do with Dungeons and Dragons? Nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons. Just because it's a magic set does not mean it's now canon in D and D. Not everything magic is part of D and D, and not everything in D and D is part of magic. What it does more likely mean that there's there's probably a toy deal on the line, and in exchange for doing this magic run, it's going to increase the chances of Hasbro getting the IP toy rights to Final Fantasy, whatever version of Final Fantasy we're in now. I don't I don't even know how you people keep track of all the Final Fantasies. Or Assassin's Creed. I mean, we've seen Assassin's Creed figures before, mostly based upon the movie. Uh, but yeah, so this is probably just a toy cross-promotion deal. You know, Hasbro makes some magic cards to get people interested in the uh, lines, and then Hasbro and the companies, you know, shake hands at some corporate table and... That means Hasbro now has the rights to make toys and action figures based upon these characters. Yeah. Does it mean it's now mean that these characters and all the lore from Final Fantasy and Assassin's Creed is now official D&D &D canon and D&D &D now owns those two pro programs? No. No, it doesn't. Does this mean you could use Final Fantasy or Assassin's Creed in your D&D &D game? Of course you can. Nobody, nobody ever said you couldn't. You could have done it yesterday. You could have done it last week. You could have done it last year. You're telling me no one's ever done a Final Fantasy or Assassin's Creed themed character or D and D campaign? Humbug. We know they have. Uh, what does this mean for D and D? Nothing. What does this mean for Magic? Another limited edition with cards that you can only use in some formats. What does this mean for Hasbro? Toys. Merchandising. Where the real money is. See ya.